If you've ever gone to a BGSU sporting event or taken a stroll around campus, then you've definitely run into the BGSU mascots. Freddie and Frida Falcon have been an important part of BGSU's traditions since the 1950s and 60s. To better understand why BGSU has two Falcons as their mascots, you must first understand why Bowling Green has the nickname, the Falcons. Up until 1927, BGSU was referred to as Bowling Green Normal University for its teaching training curriculum. At the time, the school's nickname was the Normals. That year, a man named Ivan Doc Lake, who was a distinguished 1923 graduate of the university, suggested that the university needed a new nickname. Doc Lake, then a sports reporter for the local Sentinel Tribune newspaper, had just finished reading an article about falconry, which involves training birds to hunt small prey. He suggested the university rename its nickname and mascot, the Falcons. He felt the bird was a fierce fighter with speed and courage. Doc Lake's suggestion of the Falcons was met with instant approval by members of the community and the university. Freddie Falcon was born in 1949 in the minds of the members of the Alpha Phi Omega fraternity. The idea was to try to create school spirit at BGSU athletic events. Bill Duff, a member of Alpha Phi Omega, created the head of Freddie out of paper mache and chicken wire. A mother of one of Bill's fraternity brothers made the body from a sweatsuit. Then on January 16, 1950, at the BGSU vs. Ohio University basketball game, Freddie Falcon made his debut appearance introducing himself to the BGSU community. Under the head created from paper mache, a feathered cape, and a brown sweatsuit outfit was Bob Taylor, BGSU's first Freddie Falcon. At the end of the year, the costume was stored in the attic of a log cabin on the current site of the Bowen Thompson Student Union, where the head was then destroyed by mice. The following year, Freddie's head had a new look. Instead of paper mache, he wore something resembling a rubber chicken mask. Over the years, the costume has changed and evolved, going from a paper mache head to a rubber chicken-like mask to its current look, which is a more typical cartoon-like appearance with a head made of fiberglass and synthetic material designed to replicate the appearance of feathers. Frida first joined Freddie at BGSU on February 26, 1966 as Mrs. Freddie Frida. Contrary to what one might think, Mrs. Freddie Frida was actually a male cheerleader in disguise. This was the first appearance of a female counterpart to Freddie, but was short-lived since Mrs. Falcon would disappear within the next year. After that, there were multiple informal reincarnations of the female Falcon. One of them appeared during the 1970-71 school year at home women's basketball games. She served as a substitute for Freddie, who often did not attend women's sports. By 1980, Frida emerged as the Falcon sidekick we all know today. The first official female Frida was played by Sue Sheard during the 1980-81 school year. In order to become Freddie or Frida, one must apply in writing, pass a series of interviews, and be observed in the costume in public. The spirited birds can be seen rooting for BGSU at football, men and women's basketball, hockey, and volleyball games. Freddie and Frida can also be seen at local community events such as parades and at the weddings of Falcon Flames. The identity of the actual people who are chosen as Freddie and Frida are not revealed until the end of the basketball and hockey seasons during the beheading ceremonies. Since the creation of Freddie and Frida, 194 people have played the roles of the mascot pair.